Today what we have is a teaching, a religious teaching, that's right, but yet we miss a point in the Bible. So we pick up Genesis chapter 3. We read, Now Satan was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made creation. He said unto the woman, that would be Eve, Yea, as God said, questioning the word of God, ye, have not, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And when the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. God does know that in the day that ye eat thereof, ye shall your eyes be opened, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree of the good the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat, gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Now, many religions, many churches of whatever denomination will teach that verse 6, in some way or form, is the original sin. And they'll put in their catechism, blah, 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 blah. Some kind of nonsense to throw you way off in the left field, but you're playing football. And they'll word and word it and word it and get so wordy that you lose the context. Now, eating the fruit did or was rebellion against God. But in reality of the scriptures, Eve committed the first sin of mankind, followed by Adam, and it wasn't eating the fruit. And remind you, we nowhere in the Bible does it say apple. Okay, just want you to know that. We don't know what the fruit is. So, what is the original sin of man? Well, the original sin of man, we got to go back to Genesis 2. Genesis 2.16 And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For the day, in the day that shalt eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's what God said. Now the serpent comes along and says, verse 2, uh, verse 1. Yea, has God said, verse 2. Verse 1, excuse me. Genesis 3, 1. Yea, has God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Let's put aside Satan. Because he's already sinned. Isaiah 14. And he's sinning in Genesis 3 to man. And there was a point in time that he sinned to the angels. The Bible records a third of them. But here's this man. Verse 2. The woman, she's human. Said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. Okay. Go back to chapter 2. Look at verse 16. The Lord God commanded man, saying, of every tree of the garden thou shalt freely eat. She says, we may eat of the fruits, or excuse me, of the fruit of the trees in the garden. God said of every tree. She didn't say every tree. 
of the garden thou may freely eat. She removed the word freely. She has removed what God has said. Every and freely. That's kind of important to, to remove. Because if you were to be a student and go into a vocation, and let's say you want to be an electrician, and, and the counselor says, you got to take every one of these classes. He says you may eat of the fruit fruit. So you would go and not take all your classes because Eve says, no, no, you don't need to take every. God said every. The counselor said every. every. Eve said, didn't say freely. She said fruit. Now the counselor said to the young man that wants to be an electrician, freely. That'd be great if, you, if, you, if your college offered classes freely. But Eve removed the free. Removed God's blessing of you can have that one, 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 that one. How many fruits there were ever in the garden and you don't have to pay for them. Just pick any. Now, you don't find that in many these apple orchards that you used to go to in Connecticut. And they, you know, you go to the apple orchards and you can sit there all day and, and, and pick your apples and you got to pay for them. And we had one time there, there was, you know, the, there was a, pork, a pumpkin orchard. You go in there, pick your pumpkins, and you got to pay for them. And you go to a farmer's market, and you pick up produce and all that. You got to pay for it. You got to pay for it at the grocery store. God said, no, it's free. Whatever you want. Eve removed that freedom, and Eve removed the So in reality of the scriptures of a King James 1611 Bible, the original sin is tampering by subtracting the word of God, such as many your modern Bibles today from Alexandria, Egypt. They take words out, for instance, the blood. That's sin. You are warned in the law. You are you are warned in, in the gospel. You are warned in the church epistles not to add or subtract to the word. And that's exactly what Eve does. But of the but of the fruit of the we're in verse three, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Okay. Go to chapter two. Seventeen. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, Eve's got the position. Eve gives us the position of midst of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, she forgets to include, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Did you get that? Eve is your original Westcott and Hort. And if you don't know who Westcott and Hort is, if you have any Bible today but the King James Bible, Westcott and Horde were two wicked men that brought to the world modern Bibles that add and subtract exactly what Eve is doing in chapter 3. So to say that, that modern correction Bibles goes back to Alexandria 
or goes back to Westcott and Horror, it's really a lie because it goes back to Eve in Genesis chapter 3. She did not include, chapter 2, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. She says the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Okay, it's in the midst of the garden. But she forgot the name and the title. As God put the name and title, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So she removed a complete name of a tree. Have you ever done a proposal? Ever done something for your job? And when it came to presentation, your name was gone. Have you ever been somewhere or something and your name has been missing? That's what Eve's done. And by removing the tree of knowledge of good and evil, she again has subtracted the word of God. She's a Bible corrector. She's a scholar. Okay, maybe she didn't know. Maybe she only had half information. Then we're going to see in a moment she shouldn't have been teaching. The problem is, Adam is right there. The Bible says, in verse 6, and her husband was with her. Adam didn't speak up at all. While she changed the word of God. Now she goes to say, God has said, he shall not eat of it. Okay. Go back over to chapter 2. Thou shalt not eat of it. Okay. All right. She got right. There's some places she got right. There it goes. And some of your modern Bibles have got some of the verses, many of the verses. They got them just as they is. And there are some Bible verses they're not. There's some Bible verses in your Bible, like Mark 16, that are removed. There's some Bible verses missing, like Acts chapter 8. They're just missing. And others. But she got that one right. She goes on to say, you shall not eat of it. Okay. God said, thou shalt not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it. Okay, let's see. Chapter 2. Verse 17, neither shall you eat it, for in a day thou shalt eat it thereof, thou shalt not surely, what? Eve has been subtracting from the word of God, and now she adds, I can't touch it. I can't touch it. You know what's funny? She had her eyes on that fruit. She wanted to touch it. God didn't say anything about touching it. God said, don't eat it. Don't eat it. You know, Adam could have touched that fruit, or, or the fruit or fruits. I don't know how many fruit were on that tree. Let's say if there's one, there was one fruit on that one tree. Adam could have taken that fruit Put it on a rock and smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. And then wash away all the pulp, the seeds, and the, the skin. Whatever that fruit is, whatever that fruit had. Adam or Eve herself could have just got rid of that fruit. Touched it. And got rid of it. Eve could have picked that fruit we read. And Adam could have took it from her hand and threw it into the water. Threw it into the rivers. I 
Adam could have stepped on that fruit and, and, and just slam it into the ground. I don't know, maybe Adam could have took that fruit out of her hands and give it to a, one of the animals. I don't know. You could have touched it and destroyed it. You know? You can touch all the alcohol that's in your house and pour it down the drain. You can pick up all the cigarette packets in your house and throw them in the garbage. You have those options. And you're not sinning. Now, there are some things you touch, you have no business touching. Okay? So God said nothing about touching. Least ye die, chapter 3, verse 3. Least ye die. Chapter 2, verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. You know what Eve did? She took the word surely and changed it with least. So what we see Eve doing is she subtracts words, she adds words, and she changes words of God's holy word. What we read, chapter 2, verse 16, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree to guard thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. That is the word of God. That's the entire Holy Bible for Adam and Eve. And the only thing she had of God's word for her and her husband, she changes she adds, she, she subtracts. <laughs> That's your modern Bible. And that brought her to the sin of eating that fruit. Modern perversions of the Bible, you yourself changing what God says, whether adding, subtracting, or taking a word in, you know, Greek or Hebrew in it. Down the road, you're going to sin again. Now, what is it these people who, who have sit in their community, sit in their chairs and sit in their office and sit down and say, we're going to change, we're going to change, we're going to change. Like Eve did. What sin brings forth? Well, then you produce a publication with initials. RSV, ASV, E, and you just go on ABC, XYZ. And you make the Word of God say what the Catholic Church wants to say. You make the Word of God say what the Jehovah Witnesses want it to say. You make the Word of God to make it say what the... Uh, the the uh, the Mormons want to say. Because Eve took the word of God and made it to say what she wanted to say. And she complained of the word of God of what she wanted. She wanted to touch it. And she wanted to eat it. So talking to Satan, she can't. And look, Satan, all he did is say, well, yeah, as God said. And then, you know, he corrects the Bible. He shall not eat of every tree of the garden. I mean, God didn't say that. But we're not looking at Satan. We're looking at the man, the woman. And as a result, verse 6, when the woman saw that the fruit, the when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, she's been looking at it. It was pleasant to the eyes. They're staring at it. 
The tree desire to make one wise. All right, so God said of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Satan said, verse 5, For God does know that the day you eat thereof, you shall, your eyes shall eat. Then, excuse me. Then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. That's what she took out. Now, Satan has added something she took out with more information. You could be like the gods. So she, in a tree, to be desired to make one wise. Oh, look at all the things that God is hiding from me. The modern Bibles will bring forth revelations from the devils, from wickedness, from Satan himself. To be somebody you're not supposed to be. To be thinking things you ought not to be thinking. She took the fruit thereof and did eat. There you go. She grabbed the fruit. At least she touched it. Well, she touched the fruit. She grabbed it. And did eat. Now, that's what God said not to do. And gave also unto her husband with her. God told Adam right, right out. And Adam did. And did eat. You got a Bible correction here. I'm sorry to say, but it's by a woman. She changes words. She adds words. And she subtracts words which will be God's writing to us in the, in the books of the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, do not, do not correct my word with a serious warning by God. Because Eve has already committed the unpardonable sin of Bible correction. And this goes forth for women and, you know, it's going to be prejudice and everything like that. The first Timothy. He's being prejudiced. God's prejudiced. The Bible's prejudiced. Wah, 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 wah. First Timothy two twelve. God, let the women learn in silence with all subjections. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor assert the authority over man the man. But be in silence. For Adam was first born, then Eve. Because of Eve's sin, because Eve's big mouth, God put forth many, many years later, as Paul was writing to young Timothy. Women are not to be preachers. Women are not to be teachers over man. Because Eve, as example over man, her husband, and the whole entire human race is now in sin. Now, I mean, we we got Adam's side of the story. But we're talking about Bible perversion. We're talking about modern, which today, I mean, you got, you got a whole stack of modern Bibles today. And they do the same thing. They attack one Bible, the King James 1611. They don't... Listen, the, 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 the modern Bible doesn't attack the modern Bible, attacking this and the modern Bible. They don't do that. They just attack the King James. And there's a whole list that you can, I mean, you can go into any bookstore or Bible bookstore and you see all kinds of different lettered Bibles and abbreviation Bibles up against the King James. And they all do the same thing. They change words, they add words, and they subtract words. 
And they're not following a man, they're following a woman named Eve. You got two men, Westcott and Hort, they just come along making mass production. And the original sin really is tampering with the word of God. Then they ate the fruit. 